Hi everyone. When I was a teenager, I started going to a local Baptist church and I heard a lot about heaven and hell. And I found it so scary that I was afraid to put a foot wrong. Since then, I have read books and listened to sermons and talks. But Tom Wright, in his book and videos called Surprised by the God of Hope, opens up this subject and gives it new clarity. Many people's ideas of hell come from Dante's images. Quite horrifying. Actually, Christianity isn't about heaven and hell, but about God's kingdom coming to earth as in heaven. Of course, Jesus did talk about hell, but often the language he used was referring to Gehenna, which was a rubbish tip outside of Jerusalem. And it was constantly on fire and smouldering. And Jesus was warning people that unless they followed the way of peace, of loving your enemies, the way of being God's people for the world, not defending their own rights, not just trying to get rid of the Romans and everyone else who disagreed with them, then what was going to happen was that the whole of Jerusalem would be turned into a horrible extension of that smouldering rubbish heap, which was what eventually happened. Jesus emphasised the way of peace. Wouldn't it be great if the world listened? In Luke 16, Jesus tells a parable about a rich man and Lazarus, a poor man, who the rich man just totally ignored. But when they both died, they found themselves in opposite positions, with Lazarus being in the bosom of Abraham, which was a Jewish way of saying that he would be looked after and protected. But the rich man was in a sorry state. This parable is really Jesus' judgment on people for the attitude to the poor. Once again, we need to bring this to our everyday lives, to our leaders, to governments. Shockingly, we spend more on arms than on children and child poverty. And then the parable about separating out the sheep and the goats is also a warning about how we think of and treat people. Tom Wright says we should be wary of making judgments about who would or would not go to hell. And he also said we should be wary of universalists who believe that everyone will be offered a second chance until they say, oh, all right then. The Bible does give warning about what people do, but also says that if you want to be part of God's kingdom, then this is what it will look like. And if you're behaving in a different sort of way, then sorry, this is how the kingdom works. And you may be indicating that you don't want to be part of this. God hates idolatry money, position, power, and all those things that people worship. He wants his creation to be as he intended it, with human beings reflecting his image. Tom Wright does believe that there will be a final judgment because some, he said, dehumanise themselves and refuse to accept the good news and the love of God. God freely and lavishly shows and offers us his love. How can we then ignore it? So next week we'll be looking at something different. And I hope to see you then. Have a good week.
Bye.